Well, topping today's health news, scientists are reporting a new and non-invasive model for predicting Alzheimer's in people with moderate impairment. Dr. Damon Salzman, a neurologist with the Cleveland Clinic Weston, says the importance of the new model is its potential to determine which patients with mild cognitive impairment might progress to full Alzheimer's. The model combines two blood tests that look for particular proteins connected to Alzheimer's. So essentially, by combining the two tests, they found that they could actually increase the sensitivity, increase the diagnostic ability of the blood tests much better than either one individually. And it was on a level comparable to that which we see with some of the spinal fluid testing, which we're able to do now. But this is much less invasive and hopefully would be much less expensive. Well, Dr. Salzman says 50 to 80 percent of patients with mild cognitive impairment develop Alzheimer's, so the tests could help determine who would be best suited for early intervention therapies to slow the progression of the disease. And if you suffer from achy feet at night, it may not just be because you stand or walk a lot during the day. It could also be a sign of a more serious medical condition. Foot pain and at night actually could be a sign of damage. This is to the peripheral nervous, nervous system there, which often affects the feet and the legs. Diabetes, which affects blood circulation, depriving muscles and the feet of most of much that need oxygen there. And also fibro, fibromyglia, a chronic condition that causes widespread pain, including the feet, due to lower levels of anti-inflammatory hormones in the body. And compression of the sciatic nerve running from the spine all the way down to the feet, which could be a sign of a herniated disc. Well, wearing supportive shoes and simple exercise, including calf stretches, toe bends, and heel raises can help ease the ache. But if it persists, it's time to see your doctor for a definitive diagnosis.